Hello today. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can link your how you can add your Unity credentials, how you can link your API key and organization ID. In my previous video, so many people don't understand how to add their organizational ID, organization call ID and API key. So in this new video, I'm going to teach you how you can connect that with your Unity ads. So first, once you open your AdMob account, go to the AdMob home page. Then once you go to the AdMob, click on what's it called? Mediation. Yeah. Click on mediation. So once you click on mediation, you get here. Then you see creation mediation. You see mediation groups. You see bidding source and you see water for source so here you add eight network credentials credentials you add the credentials here so the first thing you are going to do is you need to get your what's it called so click on add eight mode network then search for unity i've added unity here so that is not bringing in unity so this is unity add here waterfall then i need to add my credential so if i want to update it i can update it i can update it as well yeah so then you go to your your unity dashboard once you get to your unity dashboard click on menu if you are using a smartphone or laptop just click on menu then come here and look for api management so this is your api key right here you this is where you get your api key and then organization settings this is where you get your organization call id so click on this api management once you click on it you generate it i've generated mine and you can also regenerate it so once you generate the code then you copied it once you copied it then you copy it here i'm going to copy it again and then i just copied it here as it was before so after generating the api management remember go to menu here then you see api management now here from here from setup here after clicking on menu then you see a setup here right here click on the setup then click on api management why the second one is organization call id so we need to get our organization call id then you click on organization call id then once you click on organization call id this is organization call id right here this is right here then you copy it once you copy it you paste it here and then you save it after saving it after saving it then you come back here and create a mediation create mediation group then once you create a mediation group you select your format banners android and here you add your id add units here right here you name it whatever you want to name it then you are going to remember and understand banner so once you add that once you added that and you added your app it units then you come here down for waterfall you come down here at waterfall not bidding here waterfall. then you click on add it source you click on add it source so there are many it source right here as you can see we have it colony felony unity facebook so many on and so forth so you just have to search for the one there's facebook you just have to search for the one you are going to call, which is unity then you search for unity then this is it. this is unity then you select it so after selecting it then as i said add 0.0, .0 one so that you can get enough impression then later on you can change it to whatever icmp you want to set it so you click on continue and then you get your game id so why do i get my game id right here click come to unity again you come back to unity and then you come to um what's it called eight units come here to eight units so once you get to eight units then this is my game id right here this is for apple and this is for android so i need android then i'm going to click on android then i'm going to add it here and here i need a placement id so this is for banner ads as you can see we created the banner ad so don't forget this is ios this is android video 
then you look for banner so this is banner android android is written on it then you just copied it once copied you paste it right here so banner ads the way it was right here and you can rename it as well if you want to rename it so then you click on done done so after clicking on done as you can see this is the status of your app so it will gather information after like three days so you just have to wait for like two days immediately as we start showing your app then you can go on and test your app once you have submitted the update you have updated everything you have set the sdk so um you need to add sdk to your so okay after adding this then you save it you click on save so after clicking on save then you need um what's it called sdk you need google sdk so click on search for edmob developer and look for their sdk so i'm going to search for let me see if it's where i can see it here okay this mediation then i'm going to click on choose network so now we added unity we added unity ads so we are going to click on unity right here then is click on generate it to get it then this is the code we are going to add to your dependencies um whatever id whether you're using android studio whatever id you are using so you added these two line of code yeah make sure you are using the latest sdk so once you add it to your app and you submit app updates you can also test it as well then ads will begin to show on your apps and that's all then you add it and submit update to play store or app store whatever it is and mind you app store is different from edmob this is for android which is this this sdk is for android for app store you are going to add it on your on your port file you are going to there's a code for it as well sdk for it that you're going to add on your port file so this is for android then you add you implement this to your dependency on android studio so once you do that then ads will begin to show on your app then you begin to see um what's it called you begin to see um you begin to see unity ads on your app you begin to see then you begin to show and that's how it is so if you like this video and you want you want more video like this please don't forget to subscribe click on the notification bell likes share thank you for watching my video